fabulous uh, sports show. May I say uh, what a professional I think you are? I mean, you just get started Eugene. here. You think? The music's queued up. You go right into it. You, here we are. I got graphics. I got, you got uh, graphics. Music. You it's, got uh, everything. It's quite a production here, Gene, but uh, you know what, Gene? I, I could not do it oh. without, without you. Okay. Or without your University of Milwaukee Panther degree, right? Uh, that's true. Uh, multimedia. Yeah. Actually, uh, fine yeah, art. That, that's Bachelor pretty... of Fine Arts in uh, Film. Hey, very good for you. Now I'm uh, hosting a two-bit podcast <laughs> on uh, Facebook. There you go. All right. Yep. Well, d didn't isn't that how? Uh, I, I haven't gotten my uh, invitation to speak to the new freshman class yet. Oh uh, yeah, must have right. uh, must have been hey, using my old email address. Well, look at all these guys that are they do great things, and then the next day they get arrested. So that's not good. Not at all. <clears throat> I don't uh, think we're, everyone, me, or, me and you are going to well, prison. Well, Gene, have you heard about, uh, the, 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 well, first of all, Gene, uh, we oh. should say this is the uh, the Midwest Sports Show. Hello. And uh, my name is Chris Stotts. And then uh, that's Gene Steichen. A pleasure. Um, As also always. over there. And uh, you may uh, ask yourself, well, who, who are these guys? Who? <laughs> oh, sorry. Who do these two think they are? Well, we're uh, we're two guys uh, from the Midwest. Mm. And uh, we said we had enough. Mm. I'm tired of hearing about the Yankees, right? By and, that, and, and the Lickers. I thought you were gonna Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And, we and, don't care if Jameis Winston is gonna gain weight or if Cam Newton doesn't want to have sex for a month. How's his wife <laughs> feel? Has he told her? Is yeah, he married? Hey, listen, we're from the Midwest. We, oh, we haven't we had care. sex for a month for a long time. Yeah, there's nothing new about that, Cam. Right, right, All right. yeah. Hibernation. Is that ten? Uh, Cam, try try a decade. All right. Mm. Try, try living in uh, Muswegan. <laughs> Muswegan. <Where is> <laughs> or uh, Ashwabagon. Ashwabagon. And where, uh, where the, 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 one month goes pretty quick. I'll tell you right, that much, right. Cam. Yeah. All right. See, Cam, count your blessings. Yeah. I mean, I and, don't know. Uh, I know you're sick of uh, all these other uh, sports podcasts talking about the Celtics like mm. uh, and the Clippers no. and then LeBron. Ooh. Even though we're Ooh. talking about LeBron. Uh, no, we're talking about the Midwest. How about how about Iowa women's basketball making the Sweet 16? Where else are you going to hear that? How about that? That is great. They're Can having a wonderful season led by maybe the best player in the country, Megan. I'll just call her Megan for now. I don't want to. The Meg? Uh, Let's just call yeah, her the Meg. I hope I hope I got that part right. Be I hope I got the Meg. Because she's part mega right. good. Yes. And. And Iowa wrestling finishing fourth. Penn State won another title. Ohio State finished second, or second, and then Oklahoma State finished third. So there you go. All right, the uh, the whole platter. Oh, in Nor Northern Iowa, University of Northern Iowa had a national champ, which hasn't happened in a long time in wrestling. Okay. I watched all four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No, three days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Did you watch three days of wrestling? No. I did. I, I, I did it's not. It's pretty amazing. Uh, Gene, I'm glad you're here uh, okay. to give us a little filler. Yeah. Uh, uh, so the Iowa week. men's basketball team, they were down 25 to Tennessee, uh, which I found out. I didn't see either game live, even they're both on TV. Yesterday was Marathon Day, and uh, I, I went out there to support my fellow marathoners who were, when they got to Hollywood, where I lived, they're on mile 11, and I was... Just you can do it. Don't. This is no time to quit. You can quit when you get to uh, uh, Beverly Hills, but not was, now. Was the guy uh, at the bottom of the uh, the hill when they start off saying you only have uh, 23 oh, point, uh, miles See, left? See, last was, was year I, I ran a marathon. I don't know if he was outside Dodger Stadium, but I didn't say uh, I tried to be supportive. I the two Elvises were there running together. Oh, there was a guy, there was a group of people running for ALS, uh, the you know, muscular dystrophy thing, and they, and they were pushing uh, the guy who had ALS in the wheelchair. Now, that was cool. Uh, what was his time? Yeah. I, it, Pro they probably better be, than yours. A little they, better than yours, right? No, no. The guy in the chair. No. Who, who was in better shape? The guy in the chair or Eugene? After, uh, by the uh, end, we are probably about equal. Yeah. But... 
I, I was proud because I was watching when the street sweepers were coming and there was a, they moved all the runners. At that point, when the street sweepers come, they moved all the runners toward one side of the road because they're getting and, and they never caught me last year. Gene, so. they, they treat homeless people ni- <laughs> nicer <laughs> than these marathon runners. I know. So, how much one, does it cost to run the marathon? They, it's like 100 bucks. Oh, right? no, no, no. It's more than that. It was last year. I wow. paid $200. Holy shit. And there's 25,000 people in the marathon. But then, so they give you a certain amount of time before the street sweepers come and they start opening the streets again. And I said, I am not going to get caught by those street sweepers. That was my only goal. And I didn't. But a lot of runners did. Because then you have to end up on the sidewalks and stuff. No, thank you. So yep. I'm Seems proud of my bad. effort. I didn't want to do, I don't think I could have made it again. I, I one and done. I'm a one and done. So this guy that had uh, ACLS, a- L- he, they were all there to raise money and he was in his wheelchair, of course, and they were pushing him. Well, Gene, is it enough? It, this guy, pro- this guy probably gets free parking, right? Handicap parking. Yeah. Is it enough? He gets to park wherever he wants. Oh N- now God. he he gets people pushing him around for marathons. Uh, wow. I he, mean, I mean, listen. I understand this guy's life is uh, yeah, not, not you, you know you nothing have, to wish for. You but are it's like, crossing a line that you may not be able to come back from. There's there's a uh, there's, there's a certain point of overgiving. Lightly. No, it's. It was one of the right, coolest was, things ever. It was very, what college did he go to, Gene? I don't know. That? They what, just what said mascot? ALS. <laughs> <laughs> there okay. were a lot of there were a lot of students running though. Some of these kids, and they were by by the time they got to me, they looked in. I mean, young kids like uh, first through eighth graders, or about probably seventh and eighth graders. Like Twelve year olds running this yeah, thing. Yeah, and I'm isn't thinking, that child abuse? I from what I saw, yes, because there was no way they were finishing. From what yeah. I saw, unless their parents are going to pick them up and drive them to the end. Yeah, yeah well, you could tell. Gee, it's all the rage to cheat these days. When so, you're at uh, mile 12. Maybe, maybe and, they're going to USC or yeah, something like that. Yeah, I, I can tell you which ones aren't going to. Oh, USC is a disaster. Oh, boy. Yep. All right. Well, Gene, I'm glad uh, I'm glad you brought some material. Uh, yes, this I did that. And I saw cats again. Brought it as and always. And cats is as good the second time as so it is the first on your, time. You know how you see Absolutely it? Absolutely you know, fantastic. You know how you watch a movie the second time and you kind of yes. notice things? Right. I did. What did you notice uh, about cats? How great time? it was. And and they have right. ears. <laughs> Everybody has ears. I didn't really notice that because they wear cat costumes and the makeup's really good and they're all furry. But they all have ears. Yeah. 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 And then there's a lot of cats hanging out uh like in the balconies and stuff and they come through the audience. Oh, it's really cool. How about the alley? Yeah. Be- begging for food with the <laughs> That's right. Star kiss can. <laughs> they, that, that's that's right. Yeah. They they yeah. Oh my gosh. Gene, that, that 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 revelation you said they had ears. <laughs> yeah. That um that reminds me like back in the day when I was like probably in first grade. <laughs> Why? We went and saw Charlotte's Web, the play. Oh, okay. You, you were familiar with Charlotte's yes, Web, correct? I think I read the So book. there was a play, you know, that does these plays and like uh somehow hoodwinks all these mm-hmm. elementary schools to right. uh make all the kids pay seven dollars. Mm. To see these uh, play, this is not off Broadway, Gene. This is right, not Natalie right. Portman is not on in Charlotte's Web. I see. She's not play she's uh, not, Charlotte. She's not no. in it. They no. did not come to Lacrosse, Wisconsin, for the uh, Hamilton Elementary School performance. Mm. Mm. Um, and uh, anyways, they had Charlotte, who's of course a spider in the book. Yeah. And uh, the the lady playing her was wearing this costume. With uh, three extra pairs of, uh, mm. ar- well, I should say two extra yeah. pairs of uh, arms. Wow. And, uh, you know, the teacher the next day asked us how we thought about the book. I was like, well, the spider only had six arms. <sighs> and then the teacher was like, well, I think her legs counted as uh, spider arms and legs and all that stuff. Mm. And I was like, oh, yeah. No wonder you went so far in life. Yeah. That I, uh, see that's see, I, I see things a little differently, Gene. I do. That's why I noticed the cats have ears I, this time. I, I guess that's not an arm. That's a right. person. Ah. <laughs> I guess. Okay. <laughs> All right. So they so they had ears, Gene. Did they have whiskers? <laughs> they did. They right. they painted on. Oh, they were so great. Were, were, did, were any of the cats missing? <laughs> Maybe they're out uh Yes, uh pouring two, around Hollywood. Two, two cats were missing, but they were replaced by some other cats. So they say when you come in, they say uh, there's a billboard and it says who is missing and who's going to be replaced. Is, so, yeah. uh, is cats an allegory for the uh, Russian uh, Revolution? It Gen- could be. Like animal form? Yeah. I'd have to see it again nope. to go that deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
have some catnip. Next time, Gene, yeah. bring some catnip. I love it. And all I'm of a sudden, the you, cats cats become a uh, strip show. I would love to see it again, Tanya, but it's well, leaving. Just, I think it might. ends. Plus, it's expensive. Broadway stuff is expensive. Yep, I'm sure it is. Well, Gene. Yes. This is a uh, a sports mm. show. No cats. I think uh, no cats. Mm. No cats, no bats. Although I did mention Iowa basketball and the marathon. so right? And Iowa wrestling. Yeah. So we got a little sports. And uh, Iowa State got knocked out in the first round. Boo. And Marquette got knocked out in the first round. The tournament? Well, should we just talk about the uh, NCAA yes. NCAA tournament? Boo. Gene? Well, let yeah. me move on to the first story of the yeah, week. I, w- I had high hopes for Marquette, but, man, not good. Back to Milwaukee for them. Well, Wisconsin Midwest teams did not fare very well. Well, apparently, no. Uh, uh, Big Ten's doing pretty good. They got, Marquette, they got Marquette. Marquette's out. Got knocked out. But Wisconsin, I mean, we still. Oh, they they were terrible. Lost to Oregon. They were Wisconsin was a five seed. They were seeded too high. They got crushed. But we still have Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State. Uh, Mm, a Min- few other Minnesota, Minnesota beat Minnesota Louisville, story. however, yeah. d- but no, didn't Minnesota just get crushed by uh, oh, yeah, some other team? Right. Auburn. Or Auburn, somewhere. yeah, right. So yeah. Bruce Pearl. Bruce so Pearl's coming out. back from the South. Man, Bruce uh, Pearl used to. Laying waste to the Midwest. He's like, uh, what, you, you northern folk are too yeah. good for my hey. uh, my coaching ways? Auburn, you better uh, enjoy it because you're uh, going to be vacating <laughs> those wins in a few yeah. years anyway. He's uh, the poster child for uh, future vacating wins. Yep. Uh, but, Gene, I got to admit, Gene, I have not watched one goddamn second. Really? It's March Madness. Tournament. Well, Gene, how, how, how many seconds have you watched? I watched, well, quite a bit. Well, some. Oh, I, I don't know. I was, I, I was watching some. Gene, I don't know who any of these people are, Gene. Any of these kids are. Yeah. Uh, the Ringer had this story because I was like, "Oh wow, you know what? I'll, I'll catch. You know this. I, I host a talk show about right. sports, so I will catch up over the weekend, even though I cannot watch this god awful product on the screen. Yeah. Uh, with these kids that, whose names I can't even pronounce, I don't know who, who these kids are. What, well, Jim? Whatever happened to Larry Bird? Oh, Indiana or, State or Magic Johnson? He played at Michigan State. Or, or Michael Jordan. Uh, or, North Carolina. Or, or Carmelo or Dwayne yes, Wade. Syracuse, I mean, Marquette. Can, can you name me two? I mean, besides Zion, Zion and he's, yeah. he's famous because his I, shoe I, blew up. I, 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 By the way, he choked. I know. Uh, when he missed the free throw. Did you watch the uh, end I didn't of even game? watch that game. Oh, my and, God. and Duke lost. So, I watched uh, the end of that game. But no, Duke won. Oh, didn't, didn't Duke lose? No, I thought that was the whole by thing. one point. Oh, okay. They could have lost. Right, so wow. Go. Well, Gene, that's not the Midwest, Gene. I, I don't oh, even no care. I could care Good less. Good for you. You're being responsible. Uh, yeah. But uh, what was my point, Gene? I think uh, it was, uh, something I'll, about uh, the Midwest. I was or building Marquette up to it. Or Dwayne Wade. Oh, one yeah. Of those. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. This, who, who, who could watch any of this crap, Gene? I think it's pretty exciting. I don't I don't sit there and watch it all day. But uh, it's not for me, it's not as exciting as the college wrestling. But that's over. That's over, but right. that was really cool. Well, you have actual people actually competing. You don't have refs yeah. uh, calling whistles every goddamn second because yeah. uh, they have to uh, make sure they catch the, uh, what do you call it, the over-under. Oh, right? I thought you were going to say bank robbery. And uh, Oregon, of course, uh, beat Wisconsin, and uh, that just uh, proved to me that I'm glad I did not give one fuck oh. about college basketball this year. So it uh, just made it really nice for me, Gene. I, yeah. I would have felt like a hypocrite if they would have like got to the Final Four. Yeah, and I would have gotten on the show, been like, yeah, 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 I'm a big Badger fan, big Badger fan. But thank God, Oregon. I don't with, have to waste my time with, doing Wisconsin, that. Wisconsin, not good. They they had a rough, even though they're seed of fifth, they had a decent year, but they they were bad. Maybe sh- maybe shouldn't have given that guy a uh, five year contract, huh? Mm, maybe. Uh, well, they're still good. They're in the tournament. You have to be good to no. be in the tournament, but they're okay. no Bo Ryan Badgers. Yep, that's true. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, uh, oh, what happened here? Are we still in here? Okay. All right. So, and then also, uh, one thing I do like mm. about uh, college basketball is uh, when these a hole coaches get some comeuppance. Oh, nice. And of course, from, uh, we're talking about, uh, was it Ralph Izzo? I want to say Ralph. <laughs> Tom, Tom Izzo. Donnie Izzo? What's this guy's? Tom Izzo. <laughs> Tom He's Izzo, a Michigan State coach. He's been there a long time. Flips out on Aaron oh. Henry. Who Have you a watched that? Freshman looks like a gentle giant. Yeah, and uh, basically berated him as if he uh, allowed the president to get assassinated. Wow. At Ford's Theater. 
Yeah, that was. What, do we ever figure out what was the issue here? Like, what did the guy do? Like, he. he I don't know. He made a wrong rotation he on a screen yeah, or something? I mean, basically, he, he he's, didn't do something. He's 18 years old. Right, right. But yeah. uh, by all means. He, it look, I've never seen Tom Izzo like that. That doesn't look healthy the way. I mean, it's uh, whatever. Would you look you at want the picture. He looks like a maniac. Yeah, it's I watched small. the video too. I mean, whatever. If you want to yell at the guy, that's you're the coach. But boy, it, it, wow. He and the thing was, he he couldn't calm. He wouldn't calm down. He would not. He kept yeah, coming they're, back. They're at, even at the freaking. Reminded me a lot of my dad. I was like, <laughs> Dad, uh, I think I get the point. Why don't you take a chill pill, bub? <laughs> but uh, yeah, he kept after him. And uh, he was asked later um, about it. Um, about the uh, reaction, and uh, this is his quote. I don't know what kind of business you're in, but I tell you what. If I was the head of a newspaper and you didn't do oh your job, gosh. you'd be held accountable. That's that's so, that's weak, isn't that? Leave those media guys alone. Yeah, Gene. Well, I'll tell you what, Gene. If, what? You're, if you're risking injury and making a bunch of uh, old white guys millions of dollars, you better keep your mouth shut, too, and do your goddamn job. All right. Who? Shut up. Do oh, your job, kid. Are you talking about Tom? Or yeah, yeah. I mean that that's that's the worst thing about it. I mean, if these guys were being paid millions of dollars, right, right. That's I'm I'm talking about the the players. I'm talking about the yeah, co- the coaches are being paid millions of dollars. Yeah, and this is just a uh, complete hypocrisy. And uh, you know, listen, I'm, I don't want to get on my high horse, Gene. Well, go ahead, get I don't, on. I don't it. have any get horse. Get on that high horse. What, by the way, why is it saddle up? Why can't it be a small horse? Get on that why, small horse. Why is it a high horse? Get on the high horse and then then get well, down on the low. Well, horse. Uh, all of a sudden, small horses are bad. All of a sudden, I don't know. They eat less. I've only been on one horse in my life. Uh, but yeah, Gene, uh, just the the complete hypocrisy. Yeah. Of I'm the NCAA. Right, uh, right. That just, I mean, yeah, it's exciting, but then you realize you're watching a bunch of kids. Yeah. Bust their asses I, I, for I, nothing. I, I really nothing. Do. Well, they get free Wi-Fi, Gene. The NCAA oh, they get free Wi-Fi, hey, free buffet, and they get uh, yeah, well, they once. get swag, some uh, tournament. All, swag. Only eight ounces worth of salad bar, Gene. Yeah, so don't go well, over. You'll you'll be they, you'll be no, you'll be expelled, that. Gene. No, <laughs> no bacon bits. <laughs> they they've uh, loosened up on that. <laughs> oh, you get croutons now? Yeah, I think so. They 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 don't include the plate. They let you I, weigh the plate before I, you put salad yeah, in there. I think they've added. Jesus cr- cr- God. Cr- I think they've added croutons. All right. There yeah. you go. The NCAA is just a crooked tournament, billions oh. of dollars for these poor goddamn kids. And, the, and Jane, Jane this is, some of these kids are going to be making millions of dollars. It's fine. Zion, he'll be fine. Yeah. He'll be able to buy, buy a new pair of shoes pretty soon. Mm-hmm. But then what about that poor white kid oh. who broke his ankle? How about him? Oh, that, He's not going to be paid shit. Yeah. Well, that's why you got to fall back N- on Nothing your, to do with the whiteness of it. I don't know why white. I said white, but. Uh, yeah, but hopefully you. I'm sure uh, there's some black kids that break their ankles, too. That's when you fall back on your education. Yeah. Whatever. Yep. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, le- S. Dwayne Wa- <laughs> I don't know. Okay. okay <laughs> as, as Carmelo. As, yeah. Uh, how his education right. is going. All right, Gene, we can move on. Okay. To uh, the NFL. Love it. And Very exciting. There are a lot of uh, it's more off season news, Gene. A lot of oh. off season news. Oh, and a lot of sad news. Oh, we lost. We lost coming Clay. to the Green Bay Packers as I don't think Clay Matthews Clough. is going to go to the Hall of Fame now after he left the Packers, because unless he reinvents well, himself. Two former beloved Packers, uh, Randall Cobb. Although I don't think Randall Cobb was beloved. Yeah, I think people basically saw him as uh, the anti Jordy Nelson, the good people of Wisconsin. Mm. Um, anyways, he signed a one-year, five million dollar contract with the Cowboys. Mm-hmm. I, we were talking about this last week, Gene. Can you? I don't think he, he would not even look good in in the in blue and white. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, uh, you not is he not thinking? I don't know. Take I'm, the pay cut. But I'm starting to worry. Either the Packers really know what they're doing, or they're a bunch of new guys who really don't well, Cobb, know what they're doing. I mean, you know, listen, Cobbs have made some big catches, but he's had some big drops. No, too, I know, but some... the, the Packers are making out. They're, this is well, an overhaul. Clay, well, listen, Clay has not been good for like five mm, years, so he'll, he'll get a sack every now and again, then, but uh, nothing like spectacular. Wow, but the Rams, uh, Rams see something. <laughs> Rams see something. And then he goes to the Rams. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. The Rams are just handing all these vets. I don't know. Uh, a bunch of money. Hey, maybe the Packers um, get in Dominic Sue. He's still out there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. 
I'm I'm a little worried. I I I I don't know if they know what. Do they really know what they're doing? Do you think? What the Packers? Yeah. Uh, we shall even see. They, they spend a lot of money in free agency, and from what I've seen, I I'm no scout, but uh, some people think they didn't give them the greatest grade. But well, that they weren't be... uh, they weren't wearing the Super Bowl jeans, so uh, time right. to mix things up. Hey, I, I'm all for mixing up, mix it up, mix it away. All right, and, and I like Clay Matthews to the uh, to the Rams, of course, and he's uh, he went to USC. He's from uh, California, yeah, right? Yeah, he... the Matthews family. They all went. His dad played. His brother, right? Yep. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, that's a royal. So family. yeah, Clay. If you ever, uh, I'll, I'll show you where the clubs are, Clay. Mm-hmm. If you ever want to kick it uh, in my city, uh, let's just say it moves a little faster than Appleton, Wisconsin. Okay, <laughs> so uh, wow, what I uh, uh, you're right. What about going from Wisconsin to L.A.? Wow, dream, dream come true. Yeah. You, <laughs> are you disappointed? He had a good career though. Well, I I I read that he has the most sex. For a Packer, which I was kind of astounded. I thought Reggie White would have had that, but I guess that just shows you what happens when you get like eight sacks every single year, or five years, and you play for like ten years. So yeah, and he won his Super Bowl. So him. yeah, yeah, it'll always be a. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they'll bring this guy out for the next fifty but years not, to uh, Lambo. It would be nice to see him finish his career, but maybe they said uh, no, thanks, Clay. Move it along. Move well, along. he got what <laughs> he listen. He's he's very he's not super effective anymore. He's right. not he's not 2010 Clay Matthews. All right. All right. And then, Gene, you yeah. were talking about this last week. Well, yeah, the see? NFL. I don't know why this is going on, because the Patriots, none of these teams were in the Super Bowl. Uh, but the NFL is going to open up. Look the, right the there. 100th the 100th season. Year, yeah. Although the Packers celebrated their 100th year last year, year, year. year and opened up. As well, so yeah. uh, it's kind of that, that, again. That just goes to show you how worth the Packers are. I mean, I oh know, I know, God. we hear about the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, but think about what the Packers' value brings to everyone else in the there NFL. There you go. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the NFL announces the Packers that the Bears will be a Thursday night opener for the 100th season. Well, Gene, last year, uh, A. Rod almost tore his MCL and still came back and beat the Bears. That's right. What's gonna What's gonna happen this year, Gene? Uh no, no, he's just gonna come out and beat him single handedly by himself. And I'm gonna be there, maybe. I'm gonna go, but I think tickets are gonna be really expensive. Now I wish the Bears had a bigger stadium because yeah. it only holds like 62,000 people. So tickets are going to be tough. Well, Very Gene, tough. Speaking of that. I think we, they're going to be at least 300. You haven't mentioned this, but we're actually uh, outside. Oh, yeah, I see that. Outside. I was gonna, yeah, I knew. This one I knew. Yep, Soldier right away. Field. Look at the Soldier Field. It's really cool. And then they built that weird stadium inside of it. Yeah, it looks like a uh, office. Uh, yeah, office building. It's it's nice. So when you're like in there, I've been to a bunch building. of games in there. Uh, yeah, it's it's very nice, very intimate, all great seats, but it it sure doesn't match the exterior. That's for sure. Gene, if you look, you might actually be able to see a uh, wide right kick by one of the oh, uh, the Bears oh. practicing. Cody right Parkey. Wow, they got to figure that. They still well, they're gonna have tryouts, so wow. we'll see. Look how windy it is in Chicago. Those flags yeah. are just oh, there, yeah, st- yeah, standing upright. Yeah, Jeez, it's like it's like it's on the moon or something. How about this? That week, okay, so the the Packers open up at the Bears on Thursday night, and that night the Cubs open in Milwaukee, which could be a crucial series no. in September. Wow, big big rivalry. We should just destroy Chicago. Just uh, I'm gonna nuke go. it from orbit. Nuke it from us. Uh, <laughs> nuke it. Uh, nuke it from Mequon. I don't think right. so. I'm gonna go to the Bears Packers game, hopefully, and then and then uh, Cubs Brewers, and then Iowa versus Rutgers on Saturday, hopefully, if okay. it all works out. All right, well, just a uh, lot, 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 lot to work out. Be careful, you don't get a staff infection. All right, so yeah. All right, and then Gene, we actually did have some other news, uh, oh, okay. really quick. Uh, now, of course, uh, uh, Kaepernick. And uh, Eric Reed settled with the NFL. Uh, we we're talking about this uh, a couple of Wasn't weeks ago. Wasn't it sixty million? Supposedly, well, we, we we're being told the over under was forty nine million. A lot yeah, of people were saying, people th- th- yeah, right. But now we're hearing that it was uh, could have been more like ten million dollars, yeah, which or is less. significantly lower. And then they have to pay the lawyers. Although lucky for him, uh, uh, Kaepernick's lawyers gonna get indicted this week. <laughs> looks yeah, like. 
Well, yeah, because uh, apparently Garibald. he's on uh, a recording with uh, Avanti, yeah. the uh, Stormy Daniels lawyer, talking about shaking down Nike. So, uh, how do you think you could shake down Nike? That's gonna that's be that's amazing. Well, how could he, Mark Garagos? Because I'll listen to him sometimes on, I know, uh, with Adam I mean, Carolla and, and, and Reasonable Doubt, and he's a gregarious guy. Yeah. Uh, so uh, hopefully there's something else going on. Hopefully I know. This is just, uh, I, I, political because pressure. he's been, but, and he's, he, I mean, he, he was Michael what, Jackson's lawyer when he went what, to trial. What if this was the NFL doing some dirty work with some mm-hmm. private agents? Like, I, what if this goes all the way up to the top to Donald yeah. Trump? We, maybe that'll go, maybe that'll go up the flagpole. Right. Yep. But I don't know. A lot this, of stuff going on. This is weird because I, I'm with you. I, I know. I uh, listen to Mark Garrigo. He's been on the air forever. He also, but he also represented Scott Peterson, uh, who not 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 a great guy. But well, yeah, that would be weird. Suppose he didn't do it, Gene. Didn't he get exonerated too? No, he's on Mike death Peterson? row. Didn't he get uh, released or something? No, or, he's on. Or? He's been on death row since. Yeah. All no, right. he got convicted. Yeah. All right. All right. He so did get Michael uh, Jackson. Uh, I was going to say off, but all I right. mean, he got so him that would be because, uh, yeah, we were thinking, like, why would they settle and all this stuff? Well, it was pretty obvious that the uh, NFL did not want all that stuff uh, coming out. Right, but right. Uh, you got to think what would cap cap was probably just like, fine, let's just get this done. So they didn't. But but then and then he hasn't got in the contract. So uh, the, op- the NFL obviously didn't think that uh, th- they actually had evidence mm. about any of this stuff. So anyways, mm. I'm not a. Uh, uh, <laughs> A legal mind gene, but yeah. uh, Gary Ghost actually is on the uh, Reasonable Doubt this week talking about it. I did not listen to it, but he is. He I does wonder. Talk about it. I wonder if he'll be on his. It, it's a show he hosts. I wonder if he'll be on his own show this week. Oh, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they'll like. Uh, he'll, uh, they'll make a statement and say this is all they can say. Yeah, <laughs> he's also uh, representing uh, Jesse Smollett. Smollett. Yeah, so from <laughs> Empire. He's a good, uh, I don't know, uh, entertaining he, guy, but uh, he is kind, entertaining. kind of represents uh, the yeah. scumbag society, he I goes, guess. You get in but a way, he right? goes after some of the really high profile cases. That means that's how he, he well, makes good He's probably one of the biggest, best lawyers in the, in the yeah, country. So. Right, right. All right and then he Gene. lives right here. Yep. Near in La Quinta. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, Gene, uh, it would not be the Midwest Sports Show without uh, <laughs> shitting on Adrian Peterson. What has he done? Even though he's with Washington, that does oh, not mean... Oh, he signed a new contract. Oh. That does not mean uh, he escapes our wrath. Right. Yeah, let him have it. Um, he was quoted, I feel like last year was just a decent season. Like, for me, in my mind, Peterson said via the team's website, people were like, wow, you didn't crebble. You had 1,000 yards. And I'm like, man, I should have had 15, 1,600 yards. Yeah. Well... Mm. Oh wait, Gene. I'm sorry. That that's a misquote. He said 15, 600, 16 kids, <laughs> not yards. Kids. He meant kids. He. I, oh boy. I just. Right. I. I think he's not gonna have a lot of money when he's forty. <laughs> he's, he's gonna. He's so gonna be playing. He's gonna be support. playing until. That's well, why he's still playing. Better hope so. He's like every yard. He's like, damn. There's right, one more. Right. One more school payment. I got yeah. yeah. All right, and then Gene. Um. Yeah. All right. What am I? Okay. And then Gene. Mm. Uh, Steven Gronkowski, otherwise known as Gronk, Gronk, uh, retiring, announced his yeah, retirement. Yeah, do you think this is it? Oh Possibly. yeah, I don't, I don't, especially when you're a guy like that had been beat up. Well, you got a lot, but tons everyone of thinks he's gonna go to wrestling, but uh, w- uh, wrestling's that's not easy. That's yeah, but at least it's fake though. I guess. Yeah, I right? know, but you still jump it. Well, his we'll back see. is probably bad. His he would be back great. Back is probably though. all messed up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. But I, you know, you've heard stories about how he hasn't even touched his like signing bonuses or anything like that. Like he's got right, all this cash. Right. Like, well, uh, I hope that's around, true. So. He would be he he'd be a good example for other athletes. There you go. He should uh, start yeah. his own animation company. How about that? Oh boy, the start doing some animated films in for Martellus. But <laughs> Gronk, what a great career! I guess he is a Hall of Famer, right? Even though he really didn't play. It I don't know. People really act like he was always like so good and everything like that, but. Uh, and he missed a lot with injury. But hey, he but had give me, problems. listen, give me some Mark Shimura. Oh, I'll always be partial to Mark Shimura. He was good, and he's always partial to fifteen-year-olds. Uh, but uh, yeah, that part that's that's not good. Yeah. Mm. Yep. All right, so Gronk pr- probably lot. lit up the Packers more than once. Yeah. Um, although I think that one game where McCarthy beat Belichick, I think uh, we actually held him. Uh, well, he, he, yeah, he's got to be. He's only twenty-nine, maybe or. I know he's not he's not old, but he's got to be pretty beat up. 
Yep, he's had a bunch of surgeries and all that stuff. Hello. All right. Okay. All right. Well, Gene, uh, yep. that's it. Uh, short, uh, short week. Yeah, because uh, I have to get up at uh, three thirty tomorrow morning, and I'm driving. Weren't you to... out? Were you out uh, west? No, out east. No, in Arizona I mean, this past I'm, week, or I'm, you leaving I'm today? going tomorrow morning. If all goes well, I'll be at the Cubs spring training. Tomorrow's our last spring training game at noon against the Red Sox, which the cheapest ticket was fifty dollars. That's that's not scalping. Jesus. That's cheap. And then. And then I'm going to continue on, drive to Texas. Cubs open at the Rangers Thursday, so I'm going to be there. And then my sister's birthday on Friday, so happy birthday, Don. I'll be with her Friday. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice come little back. trip. And trip. then come back, and then uh, go back to the Midwest next week and see, hopefully see the, oh, I'll see, hopefully see the Cubs in Milwaukee and then see them opening day in Chicago. Unless it gets snowed out again like last year. All right, so a lot of exciting stuff. Yes, but I'll be back uh, next week here, and then I'm leaving again. All right, and then mm-hmm. we'll be at Social Field or some other place. Yes, yeah. Uh, maybe we'll yeah. be at uh, Ford Field. Oh, that would be uh, so next exciting. Next week, we'll have to figure out right. the, the travel plans. All right. So. All right, so that's it. Uh, thanks for listening, and thanks have for watching. Have a great week, everybody. Again, as always. To all uh, our friends. What? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, share the show. Uh, there's a share button mm. on your phone. Uh, share it on uh, Facebook and share it on uh, YouTube and your podcast and all the other share the uh, share stuff. The, uh, yep, share that stuff. And, right. and uh, I'll see it from – I'll wave to everyone from Ranger Stadium. I'll be one of the 20,000 Cub fans. Okay. All right. So for Gene Steichen, my name is uh, Chris Fats. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. See you guys next week.